What is going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can recrimp the ends of your network cable with one of these and some ends RJ45 connections. Let's go. So it doesn't matter if you're doing this for network cable, whether it's for a computer or a router or for your security cameras, it's all the same. It can be Cat5 E cable, Cat5 cable, Cat6 cable. It's gonna be the same. Um, right here, I have an example that I wanna shorten up with you guys. The this has a little bit too much length so I want to cut it clean so that we don't have all this excess bundled up here so what I'm gonna do is we are going to unplug it and it's already unplugged from the other end so make sure you guys do that and you will see here and I'm gonna show you guys something as well easiest way to do this without making it complicated for you guys is take a look at the coloring scheme so there's two ways this can be it can be an a type and a B type and I'll put that up on the screen here now but there's two color coding ways that it'll typically be found and what you're gonna do is once you snip this off you really can't mess it up because what you are gonna do is you're still gonna have the end on the way that it originally was and all you're gonna do is match it so you have to put this in this exact specific order otherwise you will get uh, issues or have issues it'll get errors all that fun stuff so um, I will show you guys the color combination and like I said it's really only a difference of a couple of these wires being different between uh, the A and B type so we'll trim this to length we'll strip the sheathing off to where we want it and I'll show you guys which way this needs to be so once you've cut it to length and you've kind of stripped it back a little bit if you have a nicer cable oftentimes it'll have a little pull string in it that you can pull to pull back because you are gonna have to pull some of this back as well but if not, you can kind of see what I did there. I pulled the wires, pulled this, and like that, you can pull off the sheathing. So anyways, we'll cut off the excess. What we are gonna have to do is you're gonna have to fan these into that specific order. So often what I like to do is get myself to about here, and what you're gonna do next is untwist each pair of wires. So you're gonna take them. I usually just like to grab one of them with my finger like this, untwist it, and go like so. So take each pair of wires, it's gonna be four pairs of wires, a total of eight actual individual wires, and untwist them like so. And you guys will see why I'm untwisting them in just a second because we have to put this in a specific order. And if you try to keep them twisted up like this, you will be struggling. Okay, so we have them fanned out like that, right? So what we're gonna do is you can look at which type yours was, and I'll put this up on the screen because it's gonna be hard to illustrate, but if you look at the flat portion here, we are gonna have white with an orange stripe, solid orange, then we have a green, uh, white with a green stripe, solid blue, white with a blue stripe, solid green, white with a brown stripe, solid brown. So that is the order that we have to put these in. So I like to start from left to right. So we're gonna start with our white with the orange. Then we're gonna go solid orange. Then we're going to go white with a green stripe. And you'll see why we're fanning them out because they do like to get into each other. Then we're gonna go solid blue, white with a blue stripe, our solid green, white with a brown, solid brown. If this sounds confusing, it really isn't, guys. Um, just follow the exact colors on the one that you cut off. So just go in that exact order and match it up to either the A or B type, and you will you can't mess this up because you always have something to reference. So like I said, just make sure you match the same color that you cut off, and like so. So once we have these fanned out, like this, obviously you can't fit them into the connector like this. But what I like to do is I'll grab it by the base and you're gonna take them and you're gonna start bringing them in closer to each other. And what you're gonna do is pinch them like this and then take it and kind of wave it back and forth. See how I'm working it like that? And then if you look at it, you're gonna make sure that your colors are still in order. So we got white with orange, solid orange, white with green, solid blue, white with blue, solid green, white with brown, solid brown. So now that we have those in order and they kind of stay now that we've waved them up and down, you're gonna look at your connectors here. So 
you need enough to be seated into your actual connector and so that where it crimps down and pinches is going to be on your sheathing so you only want it about i want to say maybe about half an inch you can kind of see exactly how much we need right there you only want it that much so that you don't have unsheathed wire out the back of your connection so like I said, once you get them in order, they pretty much will stay in order like this once you've fanned them like that. You get your length and then you cut them to length. So we're gonna cut them like this. We're gonna hold it here and then we'll be able to slide it into our connector. Okay, and now we have them cut. So double check that nothing has moved and then we are going to slide this clip over in the same way that we've been looking at the whole time. And once you put it into the sheathing, you can see there, our sheathing is right in line there. Like I mentioned, it's gonna get pinched right here. Double check your colors. So again, we're gonna go, it's gonna alternate back and forth between white with a stripe and a solid color. So just make sure everything is in order and it looks like we are good to go. So what we're gonna do is get our tool and I'll link everything down in the description below. We're gonna insert this, make sure everything is fully seated, and then we're gonna crimp down nice and tight with both hands, and that is it, you guys. So, it's now done, and you can compare it to your existing one, make sure everything's the same, but like I said, we've double-checked everything so that we know everything is in order. And that's it, you guys. That's how you crimp one of these network cables. All right, guys, if you liked this video and found it informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up for me before you take off. Check out the other videos on the channel. We do a lot of different networking stuff, uh, camera reviews, home security, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next video.